In this video, I'm going to show you how to make consistent videos with the same character. So, as you can see, these are a few examples. So this was made with Van 2.1 Echo Shot, which is the new model that was released like a day ago. So, as you can see, these characters are all the same. And this is the GitHub page of Echo Shot. As you can see, multi-shot portrait video generation, as you can see right over here. So this is the official code. Generate multiple video shots showing the same person, controlled by a customized prompt. So as you can see, this is the GitHub page, and this is all the code and everything. So now let's go to the main site. So as you can see, these are a few examples that what Echo Shot can do. And this looks pretty, pretty good. And see, both the characters are the same. So everyone is the same. You can generate character consistency with this. First, I'll show you how to install. As you can see, this is Kajai's van video. This is Echo Shot over here. You can download the LoRa as well as the model. So first I did the LoRa, but I failed. I'll show you some footage of that. But then when I use the model, that was good. So as you can see, you can put the model over here text to video and if you want the LoRa you can put in the LoRa file and there are two extra LoRa as well you need the Cosvid 1.2 and there are a few more I'll give that link in the description and show you in the workflow as well so as you can see self-forcing BMD 1.3 we need this as well, so now let's go to Comfy UI and see. So as you can see, this was my first attempt on this. And it did make some good footage, as you can see right over here. But there was no consistency in making another one. So as you can see, this is all the thing that I was doing. So as you can see, there was no consistency. These both look a bit different. Then I made three different workflows in the same workflow. You'll understand it later. So as you can see, this is the same. I copied. I wanted to make this kid the same generation. So I copied the same prompt, as you can see right over here. This is the image that we got. It's a bit fast because the frame rate, I by mistake did 85. I'll do it 21 in the next video. So this is the kid, and for the second one over here, we choose the different prompt on the same web, on this website, the second one in the middle, this one. And then for the third workflow, the third image prompt. Okay, you understand what I'm doing. So as you can see, here it is. And over here, I've done 16. I'll do it 21 again. And for this, so this is the third prompt on the video. As you can see, the only bad thing is this kid has six fingers. And as you can see, so you can see this kid looks the same apart from the middle one. Because his hair is a bit more curly, but the face is the same as you can see right over here. So for my second example, I'm going to choose this one. You can choose any but any prompts, but I'll choose this prompts. Because I don't have the time to make another one. So this will be for example. So as you can see, this looks pretty good. I'll just save it. And over here, so this handle close up. As you can read, everything is the same. So this is the output and it looks similar to the girl on the right. It's that just because she's crying and has a red nose, but her hair uniform, everything is the same. So as you can see on the third video, she looks exactly the same. Her hair, ethnicity, everything. So this is the negative prompts, and that was the this is the prompt camera zoom and everything else. So in band 2.2, which is going to release that also has the, you can zoom in camera and everything else. 
So this echo shot has the same thing similar. So I'm going to make, and one more important thing, the seed should remain the same in all three. So in the first one is 67 over your 67 and over your 67 because at random or anything else the character consistency will get bad or it wouldn't stay consistent and everything else will be different her hair her nose everything else and for steps you can use it because we are using the cause word so that requires only eight and one cfg because cause word provides the cfg as well so I'm using DPM++ SDE because Kajai and his workflow uses that. And I used that and I used UniPC and that wasn't that good. It was good. I'm not going to lie, but if Kajai used DPM++, so I'm using the same thing. Okay, so guys, if you like this type of content, then please do like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. It would be much appreciated. And the new WAN 2.2 is out now. I'm going to soon make a video. If you guys want to see that video first, then please comment down. WAN 2.1. We need WAN 2.1. 2.2. Sorry. And let's end the video right over here. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.